I'm like getting fired up. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to say that, so that's rad. My name is Alana, you may know me from TikTok as Restaurant Story Girl. Um, but today I have a day off, so I thought you and I, we could hang out. I'm here in my parents' house. I have a guest. This is Fireball. He's taking a sweet little nappy nap. You may hear his snore content. I'm still getting used to like speaking to a camera like it's a person. Um, so if you keep seeing me do this, it's because I'm looking at myself because I can't bear to ever look at anything other than myself because I love myself. Um, anyway, so I posted a poll on my community tab not so long ago. Um, because as much as I love doing the restaurant stories, the Karen skits, however you may call them, I am looking to expand the restaurant story girl universe. The RSGCU, if you will. So I asked you guys what you wanted to see. And the results were incredibly unanimous. Um, you said you wanted to see server reacts to Karen skits and Karen TikToks. Um, and you have been heard. So I'm gonna watch some Karen TikToks. I picked a handful of TikToks this morning. I scrolled through. Um, I only watched probably maximum 10 seconds of all of them just so I could get a sense of what they were about. Um, but I still wanted to keep it a surprise. So you and I, we are watching these in real time together. Let's get into it. Okay, here's the first one. I had a full mental breakdown last night. Full mint TB. Got home, I, I worked that too. Double, and the second shift, something broke in me. Something broke in me and I, I fear it'll never be repaired. I had a glass of wine when I got home, tried to start a fight with my boyfriend for no reason and instead of engaging in the fight, he was sweet to me and I started uncontrollably sobbing, which is why I look the way that I look today. I know precisely, I know exactly the kind of shift she's talking about. This was the kind of shift I had on New Year's Eve. <sighs> a lot of white women. A lot of white women at the restaurant last night. Ah, yes, white woman happy hour, familiar. And they couldn't care for me any less if they tried, which is weird, because I'm one of their own, but what are you gonna do? Can't win them all. And uh, maybe it's internalized hatred. But the first I approach, every time I walked up, she would wave me off as if I was a gnat, and uh, so I, that made me feel good. And then the second, before I could say my name to her, I walk up to the table, she goes, this menu's dirty. I look at it, there's a piece of a Bev nap on it, little napkin, and I said, okay, I'll get you a new one. So I walk around the corner, flick the napkin off, and uh, bring her the same menu. Relatable. A real thing that I've done, only like once or twice, um, but if someone says like their coffee is cold, something I've actually legitimately done before is pick up the coffee cup, walk around the corner, do nothing to it, stand there for 30 seconds, come back and say, oh, here's your warmed up coffee. And they're like, oh my God, thank you, it's perfect. Don't make a habit of that though. That's not like a good thing to do. Then again, before I can say my name, she says, you guys have a white burgundy. That's a type of wine. I said, no ma'am, we don't. Yeah, you do, they have it next door, so I'm sure you have it here too. Hey, that's a different restaurant. Uh, it's our sister restaurant, but different restaurant nonetheless. I say, well, let me go find out, speak to the bar. Uh, I already knew that we don't, because I'm paid to know. Oh my God. The way that she delivers information is incredible. Uh, the deadpan, I can, I can never do the deadpan. I've never been a deadpan gal. Um, I'm very expressive, like a cartoon character, um, so. So I go, walk around the corner, you know, look at my phone for a second, come back, I say, we don't have a white burgundy, here's something, a taste of something comparable. She smells it, she, ugh. She acts as if it's, you know, swill. It's a really nice wine. She goes, I know you have a burgundy. I said, I don't know what to tell you, toots. Oh, you know what? Actually, ma'am, you're right. Um, we did have a white burgundy, um, but then I heard you were coming and so I threw it all away because I hate you. That's what they think. That's what they think that we do. And uh, I talked to my manager and my manager goes ahead and brings her a glass of wine from next door. So I'm hot, my blood's boiling, I'm pretty pissed. Uh, she's happy as a clam because she's enjoying her burgundy. Then I turn to take care of the couple next to them this white lady, white final boss. <laughs> final boss! <laughs> she uh, is drinking a glass of Cabernet. She goes, I don't like this. Bring me a taste of the Super Tuscan. I say, okay, let me take that out of your way. Well, I'm still drinking it. Oh, okay. I was going to take it off your bill, but you can pay for it now. That's the classic trap. That's why your server's always trying to grab stuff away from you if you don't like it. I have, to, I get so pushy when people want it when they tell me they don't like it i gotta take that shit immediately right because the minute that they eat more than like a quarter of it we have to charge them for it uh then i bring her a taste of the super tuscan and she takes a smell she goes oh that's corked i didn't know what that meant so i said i'm sorry her husband who is really sweet which was a plot twist uh he goes oh it's turned i say oh, okay now i'll open up a new bottle for you and she goes uh yeah it's corked smell it and i said hmm she goes smell it 
And I say, no, ma'am, I believe you. Because I'm not a dog. Word, word, I'm not a dog. Good for you. I don't respond to commands like that. I've had people ask me to taste their food after they don't care for it. I don't care for that at all. No one's ever asked me to do that. Um, not in the COVID age. No, 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 I'm not a garbage disposal. Thanks so much. She's, I love her. So then her husband tells her to kind of, you know, settle down and she goes, well, she needs, she, she turns to him, says, well, I'm still standing there. Okay. She turns to him. She goes, she needs to learn. They're asking me to drink fucking vinegar verbatim. And I'm just standing there in my baggy ass white shirt and non-slip sneakers. Like I'm not asking you to do anything. There is nothing quite like having to stand at a table and getting trapped into like a domestic dispute. You can't escape because you like went there to get information, you went there to get an order, and then you try to leave and they stop and be like, no, 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 we're ready, please, we're just, we're, and then they continue to fight and you're just like, ah, it's the best. Okay, here's one. Hi, I would like your 99 cent crispy chicken sandwich. <laughs> oh my God, the slurp took me out. <laughs> Fast food TikToks hit different. I don't work in a fast food restaurant. I work in like not quite fine dining, but not quite like chilies. It's like somewhere in the middle. It's like $3 signs on Yelp is where I work. Um, but fast food, Wendy's, McDonald's, that is a whole other ball game that I don't know anything about. But please add on an extra strip of chicken, bacon, honey mustard, crispy onions, pickles, cheese. Oh, and make it on a pretzel bun. Oh, so you're wanting our pretzel bacon pub sandwich. That's about $6. No, I want a dollar crispy chicken sandwich with a few modifications. Ah, the modification scam. Oh, I'm very familiar with that. No, I don't want a large salad. I want a small salad with extra lettuce and extra croutons and extra cheese. I know the game. I know the scam. Ma'am, you know with everything added, it would be cheaper to get the pub sandwich. You don't get discounts when people want things taken off. What is it I can help you with? Your worker here is very rude. So you want a crispy chicken sandwich made like a bacon pub, correct? Yes. Okay, so a dollar for every extra item added, that will be $10. That's more expensive. Yes, that's what my worker here tried to tell you. Word. Plus tax a little more expensive. I'm calling corporate. Oh no, not corporate, the ones that set the prices. Oh, I love the calling corporate. Um, I have been told I'm going to call corporate, um, which is funny because I work at like a mom and pop shop. So like, yeah, go hard, go nuts, call corporate, see who picks up. All right, moving on. Hi, excuse me, ma'am. Um, I just wanted to come back to you before I ran your card. Um, you included this coupon in there and it is expired, so I will not be able to apply it to your check today. It's still good. You can still use it. The phone and the not making eye contact drives me absolutely cuckoo bananas crazy town. Like, look me in the face, use your eye contact. Not everyone can, I get that, but you can tell that she could. You can tell that whoever she's portraying had the ability to make eye contact and just chose not to because your server is less of a person. As much as I would love to, it is against our policy to use outdated coupons. I am sorry. Yeah, well, I do know the owner. Where do you guys stand on the coupon versus coupon? Let me know in the comments. Um, I think I used to be a coupon gal and now I'm a coupon gal. I don't know what caused that change. Society. Oh, do you? Yeah, and I'm sure it wouldn't be good for you if I were to call them and tell them. Well, you should just call them. Oh my God, that's my favorite. I've never gotten to actually pull this move in real life, but I always want to. I get this one a lot. I get the, oh, well, I know the owner. You know who also gets that a lot is um, the owner's wife, who's co-owner. Uh, I've always wanted to play this game of chicken with somebody. Excuse me? Yeah, just call him up. Tell him how you feel. Are you sure you want me to do that? Because I will. I mean, this isn't like an issue for me. How disrespectful. No, no, no. I, I just really mean that this is genuinely a problem for them. You're unhappy with the policy about the coupons. Well, guess who put that policy in place? Okay, I'll, I'll call them. I mean, like, honestly, like what could I even do here? Like I am the bottom man on the totem pole. That's what people don't understand. That's what the Karens, well, the Karens probably do understand. It's that like, man, I'm like ground zero. Like I don't have a single, I am paid minimum wage. I am hungover right now. Um, I have zero power here. If I had any degree of power here, do you think I would be standing here talking to you? No, I would have already taken care of it, right? I would have already told you to leave, frankly. And since you know them, you know, like your buddies, you probably have a pretty good chance of changing the policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm having a hard time finding his number. Of course you are! <laughs> is, um, is it on Google? <laughs> well, 
Well, the owner is a woman. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. Thanks. Ooh, that is really expired. Oh man, imagine, imagine having the karmic retribution of that. I've never hacked. Yidbo? Imagine, oh my God, it must be so sweet. That's, that's the high I'm chasing, frankly. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Hey, how's everybody doing over? I love the interrupting. Oh my God, nothing grinds my gears like the interrupting. I'll put up with a lot of annoying stuff. Um, the one thing I can't stand is when the guest will not let me finish a sentence. When they won't let me speak, that's what gets me like so angry. You can like, you can send back all you want. You can yell at me, whatever. I can deal with it. That's not the worst thing to me because I can just laugh about it and then make fun of them on the internet later. But it's when they don't let me finish a sentence because my words don't matter because I'm not a person, right? That's the root of it at the end of the day. I know it's all subconscious for them, but like what that clearly indicates to me is that um, you think that I am just the help. There's no sense of empathy there. It lets me know immediately how this table is gonna go. So every time I come in here, I get the shrimp and grits. And every time I get the shrimp and grits, the grits are soupy and inedible. And I always have to get something else. Hmm. Well, sorry about your past experiences. Yeah, me too. Word. So since you've been here before, did you need a few minutes to look over the menu or are you ready to get something started? Of course I'm ready. I only have an hour for lunch. I cannot waste this time. That's another pet peeve of mine. Oh my God. Um, this is a TikTok that I've actually been meaning to make. This is a restaurant story I've actually been meaning to make. Oh, I'm in a rush. So I need the food right now. I just had a long string of people that have called ahead of time and been like, we're coming in to eat. We only have 20 minutes. So can you get these 17 entrees going and then just have them out on the table for us when we get there? We're not like a food court, you know? We're not a food court. We're also not like, you're not paying us enough to do the whole like feast plated out for you. You have to follow the regular channels of going out to eat. You have to follow the social etiquette. You come in, preferably with a reservation, so we know you're coming. You talk to the host. The host seats you. Your server comes, takes your drink order, takes your appetizer order, takes your dinner order. If you're in a rush, have those things all ready to go or get takeout or eat at home, you know? Pack a lunch, pack your sandwich, and then go to work. Your poor planning does not constitute an emergency for me. That's not my problem. It is not my problem to get you where you need to go on time. If you're nice to me and you're like, hey, we cut it a little close, we have a show to get to, I have a flight to catch, um, is there any way that you can expedite it? I can do something about that a little bit. I can go back to the kitchen and say, hey, is there any way that I can get this on the fly? If we're not too busy, we can do that. But when you come in and say, well, I'm in a rush, so I need my food right now and I'm better than everybody else, so I don't have to wait, you know? I'm like, get out of here with that shit. Get out of here with that shit. Everyone else is following the rules. Everyone else understands. Why do you get to bypass the social contract? It's usually tech bros. It's usually dudes in suits that think that they can do that. Why, why does wearing a suit make you better? Why does wearing a suit make you better than the person that's nice to me? Cause you're not gonna tip me. I know that much. You were gonna tip me 15% at best. And you're also probably not gonna let me finish my sentences. I am not biased. I love my job, it's great. Anyway. You could have just said what you wanted right then and there, but sure. She gets it, she gets it. Do you like the shrimp and grits? No, I don't. Why not? It must be the worst to work somewhere where you don't like the food. I am very fortunate where not only do I like all of the food at the restaurant that I work at, but it's also genuinely good. I can never, I can never work at a restaurant where the food is bad simply because I am bad at lying. Why not? Like you said, it has a tendency to be soupy. You're not doing a very good job trying to sell me on this. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would I, why are you trying to get me to sell it to you? You know, you said you don't like it. You get it every time and every time it's bad. And now you want me to sell you on it to get it again. I mean, well, obviously it's so that she can probably get it for free at the end. That's probably the whole thing. That's probably the whole deal. But you know, I can complain. <laughs> That's because I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I'm just trying to take your order. <sighs> okay. Um... I guess I'll give your shrimp and grits another try, but it better be good this time. I can guarantee you it will be the same this time. We're actually out of the shrimp and grits. No, we're not. 
Good for you. Sometimes it's, look, sometimes lying is good. Sometimes lying is the thing to do. I think that this was precisely the right time. It's gonna save her like 15 full minutes in the long run. So do you need a few minutes to look over the menu? You don't have the shrimp and grits. Why wouldn't you tell me that? You heard me say that I get that every single time and instead you've wasted my time. All you've done is waste my time, please. Oh my gosh, you're so right, duh. Duh. I, oh my god, I wish I could be deadpan like this. I don't have a single deadpan bone in my body. She comes up on my For You page all the time, and it's always a treat. I should have told you that. I'm such a bad server. Maybe I should get you a different one. Actually, I think I'd be more comfortable with a manager waiting on me. That way they don't mess up and neglect to tell me things and waste my time like you have. You're so right. Woe is me. I'm so sad to be losing you as a table. Anyways, I'll get that manager for you. Classic. <laughs> Okay, this next one has 15 million views on TikTok, so you've probably seen it before I have. What's the most disrespectful thing that's happened to you in the service industry? I'll go first. Excuse me, um, our server hasn't been with us. We've been here for about 30 minutes. Oh my god, 30 minutes? Um, let me go check on that for you. Hey, Valentina, who has 32? Um, that's a dead section. I didn't seat that table. Perfect, so they sat themselves. I'll bet you $10 that host stand has a huge sign next to it that says please wait to be seated uh i'll just take it i don't want to give that to anybody she's a lot nicer than i am i'd be like let them sit i actually no. i would absolutely take them as well i would take them purely out of guilt the host actually just told me that you guys sat yourselves but it's no worries um it's a dead section but i'll take you guys we're slow anyway yeah, we've been waiting for 30 minutes. We don't care if it's a dead section. It was slow anyway, and the host wasn't at the table, so we just thought we'd sit ourselves. Way to just, like, read yourself, you know? You've let me know instantly that you're gonna suck. <laughs> no problem. Well, my name's Carson. Um, can I get you guys started off with something to drink? We actually know our whole order. Okay, promising, actually. Oh, perfect. I love guys like you. Makes my job so much easier. What can I get you guys? Yeah, I'm gonna get the cilantro chicken um, with mashed potatoes, um, and then I'm gonna do a water, no ice, with three lemons. Okay, and for you, sir? Um, and he'll have um, the ribeye medium. Actually, can you do medium plus? And um, what size did you want, babe? Broccoli. Yeah, broccoli for him. I also love when they can't talk to you. That's also incredibly disrespectful to me. And again, I know that there are people that like can't make eye contact for a myriad of reasons, but you know when you can just tell that that's not what's happening here? And to drink for you, sir? He'll have a Samuel Adams and also a water. The thing I can't tell here is if um, the man wants to speak and she's not letting him, or if it's just like the man won't speak to you because you're the help and so the woman is speaking for him because he can't be bothered both suck both are super annoying cool i'll go get that in for you guys did you guys want some bread as well does it look like i need bread maybe it's free <laughs> i'm gonna take that as a no but i'm gonna go grab your drinks all righty here's your waters and here's your samuel adams sir if you're gonna flirt with my husband right in my face, do me a favor and get your manager as well. Oh no, oh no, not that one. <laughs> oh, it's the classic customer service trap where sometimes it's not even that you're being nice. Sometimes people think you're flirting. Sorry, my little remote just had a little mind of its own there. <laughs> I get how there might be a universe where people think that you're flirting with them because you're being nice. But the thing that I love is that when they think that you're flirting with your wildly average husband, your completely inadequate boyfriend, right? Because you like made eye contact with them. You know, you were mad when I didn't make eye contact with you. You were mad when you had to wait for 30 minutes for a server to come to you. You can't, you can't have it both ways, you know? Actually, I see your food ready in the window. I'm actually gonna go grab it. All right, and a cilantro chicken along with a ribeye for you. Um, can I get you guys anything? No, but it's funny you didn't bring any bread out. I know this bitch is not dead ass right now. That's right, the bread that you actively said no to. Well, I mean, it should, that was a trap, right? Because she said, do I look like I need bread? When the answer was yes, right? It's a trap, we love traps. They get set for us all the time. 
I am so sorry. Let me actually go grab some for you. It's fine. We already have our food. How is everything, guys? Good? His steak isn't medium plus. We want to see a manager. So, yeah, steak temperatures are also a scam because people don't actually know what it means. People will order a steak medium rare and what they actually want is medium well because rare is like really, really red. Medium rare is still decently red, but people think that because there's a medium in front of it, that automatically makes it like a well. They don't know. And the minute you throw in pluses and minuses, the minute you order like a steak, medium well, rare, plus rare, half rare, medium, like the plus, unless it's like a steakhouse, which I am positive that this TikTok, I am positive that that's not. I, I ignore, I ignore the plus. When people say they want a medium rare plus, I put in medium. That's what that is. The, the grill time difference is like actively 15 seconds. Like it doesn't matter. Cool, can I take that back and go ahead and get you a new one and I'll bring a manager right by? No, we just wanna see a manager. 90% of the dishes, like of all the dishes that I ring in, probably 90% of them, that gets sent back that I have to bring back to the kitchen are steaks, are filet mignons that they ask for medium rare and then they say that it's not cooked enough. Hold on, Fireball is having just like a rocking dream right now. Of, of course you stopped. Of course you stopped the minute I moved it. It's also because I'm shouting and I woke him up. I would say probably 90% of the dishes in the entire restaurant that ever get sent back to the kitchen are steaks that were ordered medium rare get brought out in like a perfect medium rare sear. And then they look at it and they're like, this is like a rare, almost blue rare steak. And they send it back because what they actually wanted was medium well. People don't know, they don't, they don't know. Unless they're regularly going to steakhouses. I'll go grab it for you. Hey, I got the bitchiest bitch at uh, 32. <laughs> That's what it is. I just want you to know. If you're just an absolute nightmare at the table and you ask for the manager, that's what we say. We go back to the manager and we say, hey manager, the worst person in the world is on table 32. She wants to talk to you. She's gonna bitch at you and she's gonna yell, but she's wrong. That's like what that conversation is. And like, you, you're gonna, you know that you're gonna go back, tell the kitchen, they wanted this medium rare plus, and then they're just gonna take another stick and cook it exactly the same way. It's gonna be precisely the same steak. And then they're, you're gonna bring it back out and they're gonna be like, oh my God, it was so much better. Because again, they have no idea. Nobody knows. No one knows how steaks are. I'm like getting fired up. So we want an order of the case of Dillas. Okay. Quesadillas. And one enchilada. Bueno. <laughs> enchilada. Una enchilada. The fajitas de polo. <laughs> oh, boy. Fajitas de pollo. Can we get a side of guacamole with that? That's so stupid. Is that supposed to be guacamole? Even white people know what guacamole is. Voy a guacamole en un momentito. Por Dios. I'm going to whack your mole in a few seconds. Guacamole. And a side of frigilis. It's frijoles, you freaking mole. So that's relatable. I work in an Italian and it's a Mediterranean restaurant. So there's Italian food and Greek food. The ones that trip people up a lot are the, are the Tiro Caftiri, the Saganaki, and the Lucanico. I think that this particular conversation is not necessarily Karen behavior. Um, people mispronounce stuff all the time. As long as I can figure out what you're saying, it's not a big deal. But you know how he just played her like a, like a Karen? You know that that person was a Karen. The conversation itself isn't like Karen-like. Because I have that conversation all the time and we just move through it. But you know when they like make, even when they like double down. Or when they say like, well I can never learn how to pronounce a word like this. The, the and they like say something like kind of racist, you know, is like what it comes down to. Um, but that was funny. That was, that was, that was good. That was relatable. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hi. Hi. Uh, fun story, my camera did die about two hours ago, uh, so I've been charging it, um, and that's why the lighting is different and crazy now. Um, but anyway, thank you for joining me for this uh, server reacts to Karen's TikToks. This lighting is also completely giving away the fact that I have not washed my hair in four days. Whew. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, if this was anything. 
um, if you want to see any more of it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button, a thing I've never gotten to say before. All of my iCarly dreams are coming true and that's very fun and weird. Uh, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. You guys are the best. More restaurant stories always coming soon as per usual. Um, and I hope you have a great day or night or whatever time of day it is for you. Catch you on the flip.